I am Sam Maruska. I am a physics major. Hi, I'm Letzla, senior physics major. And I'm Aspen, a junior physics major. I'm Matt Allison. I'm a geography major and an environmental studies double major. Hi, my name is Ashley Neuenfeldt, and I'm a statistics and financial economics double major with a mathematics minor. This summer, we're looking at multispectral cameras. The cameras each are going to see different colors of light, red, green, and something slightly below red, almost to infrared, and each of those will be able to tell if a farmer were to fly a drone. If they're flying a drone over their fields and they're able to see you know, certain colors of light from their crops, if they see in a certain patch they're missing this kind of light, or it's a different color, it's going to indicate certain things about the health of their crops. We are researching on astrophysics, like detecting gravity waves in the atmosphere of planets. Essentially what we are doing with the detection of these gravity waves is we are taking the temperature profile of the atmosphere of a body and we are sending it through a sort of filter to pull out um, different wavelengths of oscillations of the air in those atmospheres. Uh, this summer I'm researching uh, landslides in Minnesota, uh, specifically from Mankato to Chaska and the Minnesota River Valley. I am using GIS to digitally analyze landslides in our area, so it's an easier way to speed up the process of field checking. This summer I'm researching Major League Baseball plate discipline with MCS faculty Laura bain Bach and we're trying to define the optimal swing decision-making strategy for all Major League Baseball players. As a student, the opportunity to research here for the summer has given me uh, the chance to experience how it's gonna be working professionally in the industry, such as in engineer or even grad school research and postgraduate research. As a student, this opportunity to do undergrad research really provides me with a way to use the skills I learn in the classroom out in a real setting and to gain experiences that I can bring with me for the rest of my academic career and into grad school. Being an international student and like coming all the way from India to here, it's like a really great way of like knowing the culture of like doing an undergrad research, seeing research and like science in a different perspective. Uh, this opportunity to do undergraduate research has allowed me to be able to combine my passions for sports and my knowledge of statistics and I've been able to apply um, all sorts of concepts that I've learned in all my statistics courses to a real-world example that I'm interested in. Um, my best day, my, my most memorable day, was by far the day that we went to Duluth. We had a two-day conference up there with eight different schools that are in this one research project that we're in. And on the second day, we spent eight hours out in the field, and um, I was able to totally learn so much from all these senior geologists. They were all just collaborating and that was by far like the most memorable moment. My best experience from this summer has definitely been when the thermal camera started to work and I began to have control over it. So I'm able to take the image, look at it, process it, and interpret it. And that really was just a great experience. The most exciting thing about our research was the day when we actually compiled our code. It was amazing. Yeah, you gotta say, when you're working on computational work and everything is just not working, you're looking for bugs, I mean, the day when you finally get the results you're looking for, it's, it was just incredible. I think, I think we got some weird stares with our celebration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The most exciting moment so far of the project came recently when we were finally able to run our optimization that imposes these swing strategies. And it's been very interesting to kind of see sort of the plate discipline approaches I've been taught as a softball player show up in the data because I'm able to impose a different strategy. So I'm able to kind of put in what I've been learning as a softball player and see that those strategies actually do give a good result. And so everything I've been taught is kind of being represented in the data in a very interesting way. All right, go Gusties. Go Gusties. Cheat!